Good morning. Hi. Hello. Um, I guess this could be a, you know, a little side note or whatever to my uh, semi-regular IRL upload on YouTube, uh, the meltdown. Um, but uh, yeah, I've had a handful of people asking about my uh, yeah, the videos I would post or the live streams I would do on Facebook Live about, uh, you know, I guess just getting whatever is on my mind and on my chest out and off. And they're telling me, you know, we really liked it. You know, I was actually listening to it or I'd watch it when I could. And, you know, it, uh, you tell like it is, you don't pull any punches. It's, you know, flat out brutal honesty and all. I'm like, really? You like that? That's cool. All right. All right. No problem. Yeah, I didn't think many people were paying attention to it, so all right, all right, yeah, we could do this, we could do this again. But the, I mean, the last week that I've been trying to, you know, come together with something, I'm, you know, I've got ideas, and I have at least you know twenty to thirty minutes of, of content that I can ramble on about. But um, it's too depressing, man. You know, I know the song I know the dance you know it's like me giving it any more attention would be nothing more than dwelling on you know on the past or dwelling on the negative and yeah the negative is thrown in our faces enough um, by other people by life itself sometimes by our own selves and why is this guy driving with two feet He's accelerating and braking all at the same damn time. You can see the brake life just flying off his pads. Uh, yeah. So it, it, it's um, for me, it's almost like walking back and stepping in that pile of dog shit with your other shoe just to make sure that it stinks and that it's dog shit. Nah. You, you only need to step in that shit once to know that it's shit and that it stinks. Don't go back and do it. Go back and do it. It's not a mistake. That's a poor choice. And not that it would be a poor choice, but until I can get myself into a spot where I could speak on these topics without, um, you know, dragging myself down, dragging myself into any further, uh, you know, pit of, of depression and despair with, I walked through a spider web, uh, depression and, and despair or disdain with uh, the way things are that we really honestly in my opinion cannot change you know they tell you you can't fight city hall and no you really can't um, but you know it's a whole thing of you know, grant me the wisdom and the determination to change the things I can and the wisdom not to try to change the things I can't I know I fucked it up but I'm trying to pay attention to the road you know change the things I can not to waste time on the things I can't and to know the difference between the two. And I know the difference. And you know, the part of me, the broadcaster in me is saying, go, oh, do it, come on, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, get on the air, do you know, whatever it is, get on, put it out there. But the other half, the other part of me that likes to come home and not flip out and not wig out over stupid shit, not to... Um, chew my, not chew, but, you know, to talk my wife's ear off, whining and bitching and complaining about stupid shit, or to be, you know, so spun up and wound out on, on, on the BS of, uh, you know, things at work, or the things that, you know, people do in my day-to-day, -day. it's just, I already know it's there, it's like waking up every day and telling somebody, oh, sky's blue and the sun is yellow, I'm like, no shit, really, really? I knew that. You, you, you didn't have to tell me that every day. I knew that. I, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So, I don't know. I guess until I can get that kind of thing, that, that thing, that thing there, um, you know, in a spot that, that works for me, um, I'm going to have to keep it light. Just got it, you know. I can't 
it's not that I'm, I'm keeping a part of myself hidden, but I'm keeping a part of myself from having to be, you know, if, you know, if you don't stir the pot, everything stays settled and calm. But as soon as that pot's getting stirred, you know, it could be a uniform kind of thing, or it could be chaotic in there. Chaotic in there. You know, and I, I've lived so long with a, a chaotic mind and a chaotic heart, um, at periods, a chaotic life and lifestyle. There was nothing charming about it, except for when I was in my 20s and you know, I could work one job, come home, wash up real quick, hit the other job, be there, work and drink until 2 a.m. in the morning, maybe 3, come home, grab three hours of sleep, get up and do it all over again. Ugh, can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess until then, I mean, I'm just gonna have to keep it late and airy. So, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, and thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll eventually get this uploaded. <laughs> but that's not to say I won't be filling the airwaves and everybody's uh, notification uh, tabs and stuff. Believe me, that's going to be there. Just, you know, don't expect me to be getting into heavy duty topics and shit or anything that might might bring me down all right i'm gonna shut up now thanks folks oh my God. morning uh it's it's wednesday uh, i think uh the 21st of august yeah a lot of pain uh dystonia sucks man it uh, it had me wrapped well, uh, had me wrapped up all day yesterday. I felt it coming on uh, Monday uh, mid morning, almost afternoon, uh, while I was at work, and it was just uh, almost like a bear hug. You know, it felt like it was getting tighter and tighter, clenching, and uh, almost like pulling me down in a way, as if somebody was cinching an anchor around the middle of my back and pulling me down but that could have been the muscles in my neck all you know wanting to go in a different direction pulling me in another direction so to speak um so yeah it all sucks it all fucking sucks it, shit's creeping up to my eyeballs um you know there's times um lately now i'm noticing where um a lot of times it's my left eye that I can't, uh, I can't open, whether it's a blink or I'm waking up in the morning or, you know, the middle of the night, whatever, it happens at any time. I go to open and, you know, there, there's times when I'll blink several times, but only my right eye is blinking. And then finally, you know, I can, while it's going on, I can feel, you know, all the muscles in my eyelids, almost like they're going off like a, like a needle on a spectrometer. So, yeah, that sucks balls. Um, I mean, I don't know where you inject the Botox to help that. Somewhere in the face or in the head, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, so, uh, other than that, thankfully the boy hasn't had a seizure in the last couple of days, so that's good. Um, yeah, between my son and I, we were definitely keeping the uh, neurologists on their damn toes, but, um, yeah, you know, another thing that, uh, guy pointed out the other day to my son was just, you know what, and I wanted to tell as many people as I could, it's common sense, almost. But it's so easily, so easily written off in two ways. One way is, oh, that'll never happen, where are the odds? And the other way is, um, yeah, but I'm angry right now, so I'm not going to 
blah, 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 blah. It's not worth, <clears throat> excuse me, staying angry at a loved one. It's not worth being angry at a loved one. It's not worth staying angry with a loved one. Uh, especially when you look at why you're angry with this person in the first place. And I'm sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure after taking some um, stock, some inventory in your emotions and your feelings in the situation, you'll see that um, the anger more than outweighs the situation or the occurrence or whatever has uh, prompted that, that feeling. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's not worth it. And thankfully, I listened to myself and held on to that the other day. Yeah, you like how I just completely jumped topics. That's what I do when I have ADHD, which is all the time. Uh, perfect example. It was a last minute kind of thing. Um, my daughter the other day, Dad, can you drive me and my friend to her job? And I'm going to hang out there and do volunteer work. Now, she knows I hate this last minute shit. And it doesn't even sound right that you know, you're just out of the blue, you're going to hang around where she works and you know and get some volunteer hours. Now, girl, you've been home since, what, March, May, whatever. And... Uh, now, with you know, a week before you go back to, to college, out of state, you want to start doing volunteer, you know, time. All right, whatever, 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 whatever. You know, it's around the corner. Shut up, get in the car, let's go. Get in the car. Oh, my friend is cold, Dad. She can't handle the cold so well. Well, you know what? I guess y'all can get out and walk then. This is my car. And I don't handle the heat so well anymore. See, after almost having a full-blown, you know, heart attack back in uh, 2007, things don't work the same way with me any longer. So, if you want the ride, shut up and take the ride. If it's too cold, get the hell out and walk. There's your two choices. Democracy ain't it great. You have choices. So, it's only around the corner. And I'm not exactly sure how to get to the place, so I overshoot it on purpose. So when I come down, it's a one-way road. I come down the one-way road, I'm going to hit the place, no doubt. Her friend pops up. Oh, you missed it. You went too far. I'm like, well, maybe if you weren't on your phone back there, you know, you could have paid attention and, and you know, made it. Work the way you want it to work. Now, drop her off, drop them off, come home, sit down unstrap my knee brace, finally get up, you know, leg up in the air, <sighs> phone goes off, hi, can you come pick me up, the lady that was supposed to be here for me to sign papers and stuff isn't here, so, nah. so I had my wife text her, so let her know I'm coming for her, but just to get in the car, don't say anything, don't start a conversation, just get in the car and shut up. Because anything that comes out of her mouth isn't going to be, I'm sorry, Dad, you know, my mistake, or, you know, and it, it won't be anything apologetic, okay? And, you know, you can apologize without accepting blame, but she doesn't see it that way, I guess, so I won't apologize for her shortcoming, which that's what it was. You know, she gets around these people that are a little bit younger than she is, and she takes on their, you know, younger mentality. You know, you have been doing it on your own almost, you know, all the way out in Pittsburgh for last year. You come home now and you're all, <laughs> she doesn't see it though. Uh, so in that short ride to go get her, there are a lot of things running through my head, of course, and I'm thinking listening to myself, to what I was saying in past dreams and what I'm telling myself and what I tell my kids, um, you know, really, is that even worth my time? Is it worth being angry and ticked off? And what's that going to do? For one thing, it's only going to make me more angry, more bitter and shitty to the whole world which turns things around and makes everything shitty at home, which is the last thing I want. 
So why waste my time and everybody else's time and energy on being angry over what? Something stupid, right? Yes, it was stupid that it happened and it would be stupid for me to stay angry, or ticked off, or waste any kind of energy on it. When all I had to do is get in my new car, comfy, go around the corner with my flippy floop loud boom de boom music playing, enjoying myself with the AC and all that shit to pick up my oldest kid who is a, uh, a major success in college thus far and is on course to set this world on fire in a good way. So why am I going to stay mad about that? Why should I stay angry about that? She knows. So, it's not worth it, folks. Just be cool, you know? Say you're angry about it. Let the person know that you are you didn't like whatever happened or you disagree with whatever. Stop hiding and misusing the word offended with shit. That's a big problem. Instead of people just being honest and using the correct vernacular and saying, I don't agree or I don't like that, whatever, you know, everybody wants to come up with, uh, I was offended. That offends me. That offend no, it doesn't offend you, okay? You just don't like it. You throw the word offend out there because you feel as if that's going to change the world in some way. You feel that's going to, you know, put some, um, you know, um, court money in your pocket, you know, give you a reason to, to sue somebody and get some money out of it, you know, it's ridiculous, and now Spider-Man is out of the MCU because Disney and Sony can't come to an agreement, fuckers, up now. Y'all have a good time, good day, and uh, I hope I get my shit together and uh, upload this sooner than later. Bye.